Ah, remember this place? I sure miss good old Vin. Yeah, he was a good guy. A bit crazy. Hey, who you calling crazy? I can't help it if the world is out to get me. Vin! Wait a minute, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Well, actually, no, it's not. I'm a multi-layered, hyperlinking, digi-memic, bio-construct, super-clocked, mega-memory construct, baby. Did you understand a word he said? When the city was overrun by metalheads, before they got to me, I dumped my brain into the eco grid. Everything's great now. Those monsters can't get me in here. Or can they? Listen, Ben, I'm happy you're whatever you are. But right now, I need to get into the war factory, but the doors are sealed. We think the code to open the doors is hidden in this system. It is. Really? Positive. Can you get it for us? Negative. Why not? Because if you have half a brain cycle, you'd know that those access codes are guarded by the central system. Ancient, nasty circuits in there. Even we bit brains can't nibble around there without getting our butts erased. Just get us close. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> it's your death. If you fail, I can always use a companion in here. All of the fun we'll have. Let's hope. Oh, God, let's hope. It doesn't come to that. When I put you into the system, the main security will slam down hard. It'll be up to you to beat the system and get out, or get eco-zapped for good. You check some? Okay, Vin Baby! Jack me in! Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, input! Got the cipher. Great work, Jack. Just got the info beamed here. That cipher key will unlock the war factory doors. We'll get on it right away and get back to you. Listen, Ven, we've got things to do, but we'll keep in touch. We promise. We got a big one this time, Jack. That decoder you found helped us decipher the gate key for the main KG War Factory. We can get inside now, and we need our best people on the raid. Oh, gee! I wonder who that might be. There is a good chance that factory is doing more than just making deathbots. I want to know who's behind it all. How are so many deathbots being made? Where are they getting the supplies in the eco? Something about this doesn't seem right. Yeah, right into the hornet's nest. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, remind me when to laugh. Misery. <laughs> You're in for a big surprise. The Dark Makers don't play nicely with others. Just ask the Metalheads. I've been given the opportunity to wield a power even the Precursors could not control. Don't fret. You won't live to see what I turn this little world into. Maybe a rock, or a floating puddle of slag, or nothing at all. Complete oblivion! So hard to choose. I won't let you do this! Away. See you later, Mechanator! Jack! The sky is falling! We took it to that robot goon and kicked his nuts! And bolts! Errol got away, but we shut down his robot factory. That's good, but it is troubling to see what Errol is doing. I fear he may be trying to awaken that terrible dark ship before we can destroy it. Onan says the Precursors and Dark Makers have fought over worlds for as long as time has turned. It would not be the first time a planet was lost to those monsters. Well, it's not gonna be this planet. We've lasted this long. We've just gotta find a way to destroy that thing. The truth lies at the bottom of the catacombs. That's where I need to go. 
Once again, you stand before me, brave one. And once again, your heroism shall be rewarded. I give you a new light power. One which will help you reach new places. Places only in your dreams. Errol has learned how to connect with the Dark Maker ship. If he can awaken its terrible cargo, he will unleash horrors beyond our deepest nightmares. Not all is lost. I hid the most important artifact from Errol. I was wrong about you. You have the balance needed to save us all. As rubber-wearing, completely freaky, beyond bizarre, paint-faced, super weird monks go, you're all right. I have now seen the truth, and I am at peace. At least I was granted the gift of seeing the face of my creators. Thank you, little one. Uh, okay. You did it, Jack. This victory is a sign of possibility. Times are grim, but when I was the leader of Haven City, times seemed grim then too. Take hope. Even the smallest weed finds shelter within the rocks. Wait, you were once the leader of Haven City? I came to the throne during the middle of the Metalhead Wars. Baron Praxis betrayed me and banished me to the Wasteland. The rest you know. Anyway, here is your third and final battle amulet. You are one of us now. That war amulet is a beacon. If ever you need us, use it to call and we will be there. And from me, a welcoming gift. This rare precursor armor is said to have been worn by Mar himself. I was saving it for my own son. But right now, you should wear it in this difficult time. Thanks. I don't have anything for you. You give us all hope, Jack. That is gift enough. Welcome to the clan. Wonderful, Jack! I knew that machine was special! Ah! Get out of my head! Jack! Jack! I'm losing you, buddy! It's linking me into the Dark Maker ship systems. They're taking me to them. Jack! Jack! What the? Daxter? What? 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 What'd you see? Let me look, let me look, let me look! Hello, elevator! Bottom floor! Going up! Come on! Ah, I hate being short! It just seemed for a moment, it, it looked like... No, it couldn't have been. Who knows what Arrow will try to do next with that dark ship. We've got to take him out. And I suppose you know how we can take him. We have a plan, but it's risky. Oh, of course! It couldn't be easy! No! And I'm sure we're on the short list to head up the mission, huh? No, this one's tricky. I'm giving it to Torn and Jinx. What? I suppose you don't think we're good enough, huh? You don't think we can do it? Dax. May I remind you that this team of Daxter, Jack, and Daxter have taken on just about every scary thing this world can throw at us for three, count them, three adventures. Daxter. This is an outrage, Jack. We're the heroes. We're the ones on cereal boxes, for God's sake. And I'm about to release my own line of sports shoes. I've got a contract! You're on the mission. Your job is to cover Torn and Jinx in a vehicle filled with explosives. Escort them to the metalhead section, and together you'll blow open the nest. Oh. Well. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Oh yeah, they hurt now! Move and groove, Chili Pepper! Alright, it's payback time. You ready to rock, Dax? You mean go in that place? Uh, Jack, maybe I'll stay here and, uh, protect Sig. Ah, my little friends have come to see me off. I'd love to stay in chat, but I have an appointment with the most powerful beings in the universe. You're through, metal monkey! Don't make me come over there and sick Jack on you! You're too late. I've already awakened the Dark Mega ship. When I come back, I will be wielding the very power of the Precursors. I'll see you boys soon. Look at that, it's cool. It's amazing. It's reacting to the dark stuff. Ah, it's gonna blow! Let's get out of here! Jack, 
We are in serious trouble. Onin says there are strange forces at work. Fate has been twisted by something more powerful than anything she has ever seen in her many years. Something now awake deep in the catacombs. Let me guess. You blowhards want us to go down there, correct? The best access to the catacombs is on the metalhead side of the city. Sometimes, I really hate you guys. Onan says she sees your fate turning black with uncertainty. Onan says it will be very dangerous indeed. Onan says Hecker will escort you to the catacombs and... What? What did you say? You will be Onan's eyes and Jack's wisdom. You must do this. Ah, okay, fine. But I am gone the moment that things get sticky. You two, get to the catacomb entrance and take care of business. I'll meet you there when the coast is clear. The only hombres tough and crazy enough to take on these things are the Wastelanders! You're a genius. Yeah, that trinket's worth about as much as you'd get from a broke-down pawn shop in Southtown. Where have you been? I've molted three times already just waiting for you. Onan says we must get through the palace ruins, but I think... Uh-oh. Jack, let me just say, before it's all over, Riding on your shoulder, although it is kind of bony and uncomfortable. Well, you've been a good pal. You too, Dax. These adventures, they've been great. Someone called for an army. But you're a long way from the desert. I thought you said a smart warrior never takes his opponent head on. That depends on how hard your skull is. I'd say you and I are both rather headstrong. Let's finish this. Demos! Not bad driving, kid. It was a good fight. <coughs> and a good day to die. I'm very proud to have been by your side in the end. <coughs> this world is not yet out of heroes. We did well together. Don't move, Al. Please, promise me one thing. Promise me you'll find my son, Mar. You'll know him when you see this. He's wearing an amulet just like it. A symbol of our lineage with the great House of Mar. <coughs> Save the people, Jack. They need you. Father. Yes, you were that child. I took you from Damus, hoping to harness your eco powers for my experiments. Then I lost you to the underground. You seem upset. Did I tell you too late? You were the son of the great warrior Damus. Oh, and he never knew. How delightful. Ah! Bigger! Thank you for opening the door to the precursors. Don't worry, I'll be back put you out of your misery. After him, Jack! You're willing to go down there? Without a fuss this time. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. It's just that nobody hurts my best friend and lives to brag about it. Let's get him! Mm -hmm.